photographing food using a small LED light. Hi, I'm Stanley Ong. Welcome to my channel. I'd like to invite you to hit the subscribe button and follow me in my photography journey. For this episode, I'll be taking photograph of cookies using the Photix M200R RGB light. So first of all, let's see what's inside the box. When you open the box, you can see the instruction. The LED light, it's almost as small as my mobile phone. And inside, you can find A pouch for the light and a holder that you can attach and of course the charging cable okay first thing you notice when you look at the Photix M200R it's very compact very thin which I like because uh, nowadays I do sometimes I do shoots that I want to set up fast. I uh, don't want to drag, al bring along big heavy equipments. So sometimes for small shoots or for personal shoots, I can bring this along, put it in my bag, and do a quick setup and start shooting. Now let's see some of the feature of the Photix M200R. Turn it on. And first is, uh, there's the mode button. Here you can adjust the hue. And the saturation as well. Okay. And the next mode are the preset mode. There's a preset mode where you can uh, change different presets. This is flash fast, TV screen. Probably I'll be using this when I shoot some videos. And there's a preset for candles, for effects that you want. Flame and ambulance that's interesting police strobe light and much more okay. but for uh, the shoot i'm gonna do uh, i'm just gonna use the basic temperature setting okay so for the temperature i can do uh, white and turn it to warm and also here you can see a time 1.4 hours so you can see uh, how long you can use the the light and so that you won't have to guess when the light uh, the battery is about to be drained normally when i do food photography, I usually bring my big continuous lights or strobes with the big modifiers. But uh, with the M200R, for my next layout, I'm tr I'll try to create, uh, I'll try to bounce this and create a bigger light source instead of a small uh, 
size light source. I'm going to bounce this off, bounce the light using my trusty illustration board, bounce this light, now creating a bigger light source. So for, for this one, this is the photo. Next, I'll try to use also a diffusion material. In my case, in this case, a drape, white drape that I can shoot through and create soft lighting. Aside from that, I'm going to use my other trusty illustration board as a reflector. Put this around the cookies to make it bright and airy. And this is how it looks like. Now, sometimes I like also my photos to be uh, dark and moody. Okay, so with the small light source, I can create that. And by using again my illustration board, I can block some of the light, control what will hit my subject, what light to hit my subject, and maybe I'll look uh, for something to put in between my light and my subject, uh, like this item I found in the kitchen. Or uh, if not, you can look for something else to put in between your uh, light and uh, my light and uh, my subject to create uh, interesting shadows. And for uh, my shot, uh, here it is. What do you think using the Photix M200R? So what do I think of the M200R? Um, for first uh, initial impression, uh, I can create food photos using this light alone. Uh, I'm gonna push this uh, unit, uh, this light more by uh, using the other features like the RGBs. Uh, I'm going to try to create some more images for the next few weeks using uh, this light and post them in my Instagram. Uh, check it out. Uh, and also, I just saw that it has a USB 5 volts out. That means I can charge my gadgets using this one. This can act as a power bank as well. Uh, very interesting. If you like to do food for photography, uh, uh, just a simple uh, tip that I, what I did earlier is uh, you can use everyday items that you can find at home to, to modify the light, create interesting shadows, to uh, diffuse, uh, to soften your light and diffuse it using uh, fabrics or other uh, diffusion materials. And if you have, I have this at home. It's a car shade. What I like about this, it has a white side and a silver side. And it can also create, uh, act as a reflector. Okay? So, uh, if, you can, if you want, you can try them out at home and share your images in the comment section below. So, uh, if you like this uh, episode, uh, please hit the like button. And please subscribe to my channel. Tell your friends to subscribe to this channel and support me in my photography journey. Thank you very much and see you soon.